why don't professionals understand PDA? So this is what I tell parents. Often everything about a PDA child will simply look behavioral. It'll look like avoidance, defiance, opposition, or shutdown until it starts to impact basic needs, right? Disabling them, the nervous system activation from eating, sleeping, toileting, brushing teeth, hygiene, bathing. But how this manifests is unique to each child. So for example, my son stopped being able to walk, had explosive fight flight behavior and could not eat. That's all nervous system related. In comparison to another girl his age who might have an internalized freeze response, so she's stopped talking, not explosive at all, walks fine, eats fine, but has had a toileting regression, needs a diaper now, and can't sleep through the night.